Next, we got another comedian. I hope you guys are ready for it. Joe Ellis. Give him a round of applause for the last performance of the night. So I'm wrapping up tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's give it up for Jamie, everybody. I always like to joke the fact that one day I'm going to get a needle in the neck. I'm going to wake up some ran wrap to a table. And he's going to be standing over me holding a pizza cutter with a bunch of pictures of weed. Going, look at what you did. <laughs> that's how I'm going to go out. Yeah. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, so, hi, Gritties. No, 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 I am high, Gritty. So I'm going to leave right now. Uh, I love smoking weed. Weed's fantastic. It gets rid of my anxiety. Makes me think more. You got some pot smokers? Yeah. yeah. You guys got, let me ask you this. Do you often have high thoughts? <laughs> like those thoughts where when you start having them, you get all into it, and then when you realize people are looking at you, you're like, oh, hi, world. How long have you been sitting there? Oh, fuck. Like, I've had these ones like, does a cyclops wink or blink? Yeah, I like that. Why do they call them bell peppers? Because I'm shaking the hell out of those things, they don't rain. They don't rain. One of my favorite high thoughts is, like, I've eaten pizza every day of my life since I was eight years old. <laughs> yeah, so it's not so much a joke as just facts. I mean, I'm the living embodiment of Pizza the Hut. That's exactly what I am. I hope I never lock myself in a limo. Kind of scary. <laughs> but you know what? I, you know, because everything you eat becomes part of your body. I've eaten pizza every day for life since I was eight. Yeah. Um, pizza and Pepsi with some chicken nuggets and fries in my tits. Uh, <laughs> so here's my question. If the zombie apocalypse happens, and somebody with celiac disease eats me, and pizza's a high gluten food, will they get a tummy ache? Yeah. Yes? Yeah! That's what I think. I asked my friend who has celiac disease, he hung up on me. I don't know why. I don't know if I understand what the problem was. Uh, but yeah, I eat a lot of pizza. In fact, I'm pretty sure my blood tastes like marinara. Like, and I think that's why mosquitoes don't bite me. I think like mosquitoes don't like like Italian food. But if I ever meet an Italian vampire, I'm fucked. I am fucked. Mm, you taste like a mama used to make. Hey, Luigi, get over here. Get your bread in the uh, Let's see, I have two kids. Does that scare anybody else? It scares me quite often, actually. I love them to death, I do. Anybody else have kids here? Anybody? You, you have kids? How many do you have? Two. Two? Boy and girl? Two girls. Two girls? Oh. Uh. Actually, my daughter's been doing really well. She's super smart. Like, my kids are pinky and the brain. Like, my daughter, who's younger, is the brain, and my son is totally pinky. Just better, 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 better. <laughs> I, like, I love him to death, but he's getting into that angsty teenager shit. Like, it's starting to drive me insane. Like, like I hate to admit this, but he's trying to shoot up a school. He's not going to. He has no access to guns. I'm a sword guy. But <laughs> he may go cut up the school, but he's going to shoot up the school. And they'll stop him pretty quickly. Um, but, like, like, he has a lot of rules, obviously, for being an asshole. And whenever he gets in trouble for something, because he's always breaking the fucking rules, his first response is like a Trump supporter. Well, why isn't my sister getting in trouble? Because she didn't break a rule, asshole. That's why. Well, what about when she did that? Well, did she get punished? Yeah. Okay, so you're telling me you want a world where all the rules and laws go into place, but it can only be committed by one person. Jeez, if that was the fucking case, I got a couple of murders and a bank robbery. Hold on. Can you imagine that? I mean, it would save a lot of prison system. And instead of having prisons full of people just walking and go, there's the murderer, there's the rapist, there's the pedophile. Hi, Mr. President. <laughs> there's the tax evasion. Hey, we're at the same cell. Uh, that's all I got for political humor. Uh, uh, have a good night. That happens a lot. Uh, uh, I'm also married. Sorry, ladies. Um, uh, I know, all of you are like, damn! No. Trust me, this never gets me girls. Never. I've had girls come up and go, oh my god, you were so funny. And they all look up away. <laughs> damn it. Uh, you know, I have a wife, and I love her to death. She's great with my kids. She's wonderful. But the problem is that she's a little bit forgetful because she smokes weed too. <laughs> and 
And like, like for instance, she got me a birthday card. Now, granted, my birthday was a month and a week and a half ago. But she has the card. Eventually, she's going to give it to me. Hopefully, before my next birthday. Um, let's just hope. Um, let's see, I go down to Salem every year for Halloween. Anybody been to Salem? No? You need to fucking go. <laughs> like, not right now, because after Halloween, it just turns into a ghost town. But in the month of October, fucking go. They shut that shit down. They got like haunted hay rides and shit everywhere. Fair food. It's like putting Freiburg Fair down here with monsters. It's awesome. And you'll get a whole new appreciation for the female body in those outfits. Holy shit. Um, and, you know, so like this year, it was me. I went as uh, Deadpool. Well, actually, Pizza Pool, because I wore this with a pizza mask. My wife went as Jigsaw the, the doll. My daughter went as a vampire. My son went as a little asshole trying to shoot in the school, so he stays fuck home. <laughs> <laughs> and look, what was really awesome, but also pissed my wife off a lot, was because she put a lot of effort in her costume. She got a white t-shirt, a little tie, she did the makeup on her face, like she looked good. I was wearing this fucking hoodie and a pizza mask. <laughs> no one said shit to her. I had 15 people say pizza and three people take a picture with me. I don't get it. I don't fucking understand. But I'm gonna fucking roll with it and she's just gonna hate me forever for it. It's okay. Uh, I, I, um, my wife is not the mother of my children, which happens quite often in this world. You know, my, my last relationship was a lot like Forrest Gump, you know, I was a target, she was a whore. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that works. She actually was definitely for the guy who was living three doors down from where he moved in. Okay, so if I didn't hit the pain enough already. Fuck. God damn it. But you know what, it's okay, because you know, I've got the kids, I'm raising them. At least as long as the boy doesn't end up in fucking jail. Uh, yeah, like, like kids are great, they really are amazing, but the, here's the problem, they don't shut up, ever. They never, ever shut up. They're like little iPod excuse machines on shelf. And they just run through that shit all fucking day long. Like, she's looking at me, well he touched me, well she was thinking of me, why is the sky green? Why is, why is the sky green? I smoked a lot of weed. <laughs> why is the sky blue? Why is the grass green? What's that in your pipe? That's called headband and you go in the other fucking room. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I also a video gamer. Any other gamers in here? God, no. <laughs> I am a loner. <laughs> I don't drink. I have kids that play video games. You're all like, fuck this guy. <laughs> what the fuck's are you doing? <laughs> now, I play a lot of video games. Uh, probably too much. Um, my wife actually wants me to stop playing video games because. Um, I've been playing Assassin's Creed now for 187 hours, and I haven't beaten the game yet. She's like, Jesus fucking Christ, you're gonna write a thesis on it? <laughs> and right now, you heard out a little bit of an impasse, because you see, I want to cut my hair so I'm tied to this cat living with the fuck. And she does not want me to cut my hair because she loves my long, flowing locks. I, I don't know what to do. Like, what do you guys think? Do you think I should cut it or keep it? Keep it. Keep it? Even though it has this weird chia pet thing going on, I got the. I, I call it the Ellis Fro. It just goes. It goes up and set it down. Of course, you know, a lot of people are like, keep it, keep it. I'm like, really? Hold well, on. It was the aliens. Keep it now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll rock it a little bit longer. All right, I'm Joe Willis. Thank you so much for laughing. Thank you all for coming up to Gritty's Open Mic. Give it up again for Joe Willis and all the other fabulous performers that we had tonight. That was amazing. Again, he is taken, ladies. Sorry. Um, yeah, this was a wonderful night. Thank you for, to all the performers who came.